Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I got impatient with Disney. I, I bought it, admittedly, at kind of 175, somewhere in that neighborhood. And it's been a loss. I've, I've only been in it for eight months. Um, you know, they were consolidating much of last year. It was down 14%. Uh, it's obviously down this year some as well. Uh, they had a nice quarter, nice print Q4. You know, revenue was up 34%. You know, they had a triple in EPS growth. You know, but my concern around Disney is going forward, I think there's some margin headwinds here. Uh, there's some spending that they're going to be doing on Disney Plus. And, you know, guess what? The, the subs were great, you know, in the last quarter, but it's a fragmented industry. It's very difficult uh, to, to grow there. And, and I just think that there's places, there's other places in the market uh, for me to take that capital and spend. So I decided to get out and uh, unload it. Yeah. Josh, what do you think of that move? Getting out of Disney, even you get in at 175, you get out at one, I mean, let's just say today's price, even though today's price may not be the exact price in which Jason Snipe got out, but 175 to 140, we'll call it. I'll give him a couple bucks on the upside. Yeah, I, well, listen, I could see the argument for, I could see the argument for making either case here. Disney's tough right now. I actually have a, a buy limit order in for Disney, but at a lower price than where it is and where it's been. We'll see if I ever get filled. Um, one way to think about Disney is people at the park last week reported that it's the most crowded uh, Disney has ever been in park history. Um, but you have to remind yourself that has nothing to do with the future. What that's about is two years worth of canceled trips. When you promise an eight-year-old that they're going to Disney and then you can't take them, uh, two years later, they're 10. They still want to go. So <laughs> I wouldn't look at that and say, oh, that's a sign that, you know, Disney's going to have blockbuster numbers going forward. I think they're getting a lot of catch up business. Um, and then on the streaming side, look, we know from the way analysts are now valuing and looking at Netflix, it's only going to get harder from here. It's not going to get easier. The honeymoon is now over for all of these streaming plays. The multiples on what each user is worth in on Wall Street, uh, that's changing. And the amount of competition and what that's going to mean in terms of marketing spend, content spend, discounting, that that piece is changing, too. So if those are the two drivers uh, for Disney and we know movie theater box office is going to stay hit or miss maybe for the rest of our lives, it makes it a more challenging high conviction play. So I get what Jason's doing. Um, I'm not in it currently. I might end up in the stock at lower prices. We'll see.